Garage Band has a nice new fresh look about it, especially the live loops. We've got many different styles, hip hop, dubstep, R&B, house, chill, rock, electro funk, beat masher. You can do your own from scratch. Let's have a look at uh, dubstep. So the screen looks completely different in live loops. It looks something like Launchpad maybe, and works in a similar way, but with a lot more control. Let's start that one. Now that's great, but we've also got some live effects for real-time performance. If we press tap, uh, if we tap effects, down at the bottom of the screen we've got filter, and various different effects, repeater is very nice, you'll hear them, that's probably the best way to experience them, so let's uh, do this. One of the great things about the new features of Garage Band is the ability to change and edit these loops. Let's take a MIDI sample played here on the keyboard. So if we tap on the keyboard, go up to the top little keyboard icon, we can play, see it's played on custom. Tap on that and let's maybe change it to, uh, yeah, how about some pizzicato strings? So it's the same riff. Like that. We could change it again. About a glockenspiel. French horn. Very nice.
we can also edit the audio loops. If we tap this icon on the top left hand corner, we can go back to live loops or we can go to our traditional tracks. Most of these look familiar, but there are a few changes. Drummer. Let's press play. We've got a number of drummers to choose from. Here's Magnus. Leah. And then we can edit how the drums are played. Let's go to loud, complex. That's familiar from the last garage band. Let's have a few more fills. Let's bring in that snare. Let's change to atmosphere. Another drummer, Jasper. And there have been some changes to keyboard. As you can see. So we've got our usual ones. Loads to choose from. But hidden in other, we have got what we've had before to some extent, strings guitars and the basses and the nice thing being we can now play them on the keyboard if we choose to but some lovely new instruments too brass ensemble flute clarinet Glockenspiel. Oboe. Bassoon. And now we can play the acoustic guitar on the keyboard if we wish. Of course we can have a few more 
notes if we wish, and we could put it into scale. So something really creative, I think, is the ability to add your own playing, your own riffs into the cells. Let's record into a new cell. Record into cell. to the grid. There it is. We can also add Apple loops. Into a cell. 